Before we get into the main body of the meeting, I just wanted to take a look at this. It's kind of a follow up on two of them last week's annual town meeting. I was uh, very impressed with how the various departments and the citizens were prepared for the meeting, the presentations. Certainly, uh, we have a lot to be proud of. Volunteer government is uh, very impressive. So I want to thank everyone for what they've been doing. Professional and that was shown by the various departments and the preparation. You know, a lot of work and most of the volunteer time. So I want to thank them and certainly the people <coughs> are employed by our town. Sorry. I didn't know if you had this copy. Yep. Okay, we have Adam back with us again. Uh, we have to come up and come back into the proverbial hot seat, I guess. Uh, we just had a discussion last week about maybe a, a uh, Yeah, so, so all I did was I just uh, took a standard, more of like a consulting type agreement, um, basically saying that I will continue to uh, fulfill the roles and responsibilities outlined in the Director of IT job description. Uh, so basically continuing the role that I have now, and then I just took what Barry has been spending on IT, divided by 12, and came out with that uh, monthly um, rate, and then I said that I'd provide the town with 13.3 hours of service, which is the uh, current agreement. Okay, questions, comments from the board? Yeah, I have a few. Okay. Um, just because this identifies it as a complete separation, we become strictly an independent consultant, no longer covered by any protections of the town. Um, Nothing here states that the consultant would provide liability insurance or any personal coverage, so I'm just curious. Are you providing that as Adam or as a company? And would it be now a contract with a company versus Adam? Um, yeah, we, we can put the uh, liability insurance in there. I think, I think just to make it easier as far as uh, tax calculations and um, retirement contribution and stuff, it, that's, that's why I went this road. Because I'm fully capable of doing either one, um, but if we go this way, then yeah, I can put uh, liability. Uh, I can put a liability clause in there, and then basically we'll use um, it would go against the uh, general liability insurance that I carry. Um, and that's okay. so we would still just be contracting with you, Adam, not your company. 
I'm just curious how that plays out with your uh, definition of your company and your state and your situation. Um, and the other thing is partly because, of, I mean, you know, the, the issues we were having with the whole program was not enough hours for all of everybody. And what I'm not certain of is is 13.3 hours actually what we need? Oh, what do you think? Oh, no, you guys need more, but I thought this was to carry us um, from uh, June 30th to buy more time to look at uh, options. Right. Now, and this is why I'm asking the question, because there's going to be a balance of when the time is available. Is it still 24-7? So if police department's calling it for something. Or, uh, but secondly... The reason I'm asking, I'm just putting it, is not only are we going to be asking you if you can provide us the time to keep up just the 13 three, but also help us with the transition of, so in what role you can, that is, finding a replacement, whether it's a contractor or IT director. And so I don't know if 13.3 would work and then we're unfairly asking you to put in like 20 because of all of that. So I'm just, if we think what we really need from you for the next four weeks to maybe dig out of the hole with some other departments that have been asking for services, if you have the time to offer it, is more hours, maybe we should look at it that way and maybe even look at, it might be better for the town to look at spending 3,000 for a month versus 2,200 if that's gonna help us bridge that gap where we, we, without, and I'm not even putting fault on anybody here, but some things fell behind, and if this, if we think a month of transition with a little extra hours dedicated to Barry would help, I was just curious if that so, was factored in the 13.3, and how we... Yeah, to so... Be, to be more precise, what kind of hours do you think this town needs for what you see we're asking? Because I understand every time we get going on a project, call with XYZ, so instead of 13 hours in the project, we get four. How many hours of actually would we need each week for you to get this project up that need to be? And what would the compensation be you for the more of those extra hours? That not necessarily have to be you. If you have an employee that can do those instead, that's fantastic. On the, on the, on the caller element, do you know what I mean? It's this well, this right, is just for a one month. This is just for me. But that is definitely something I would do. I, I'm saying if you, whether, yeah, I, whether, I, how yeah. you work with company contracts, I'm, I'm not worried about that. Yeah. If you can send someone qualified that's going to read this on his computer instead of you, is, is there someone you can send for that? Or, um, or, or how much time can you just use? Well, I think the only, the only hesitation I would say is that we asked Adam to extend his service for one month. Right. The RFQ, RFP, whatever our next step may, may cover that. Right, but but it, it, we're, see, we're not going out to bid for this. This is just continuing his type right. of employment with us. So not have... And we're looking for what his overtime cost is going to be. If you can time, that's all right. right. Is he so already he on the books as a consultant with the town with no, other means employee. and methods? He's or only as an employee? Just an employee. Just an employee. So you will only receive checks from the town as an employee. Correct. Was okay. he a straight employee or a specialist? Or was he already paying take withholding taxes and everything? He's an employee. Yeah. There's not many people that are special municipal. So I'll, I'll just curious yeah. just to see if yeah, that's no, expediting a, you know, a, a treasure or a well. And I'll, um, I'll just be honest with some of the uh, things that I've taken on for July. I don't know if I would be able to do more, much more okay. than 13.3. Right. So even, even if we wanted to extend uh, past 13.3, I don't know if like I would be able to uphold my end, um, which is another, yeah, so that, that's, okay. I did look into it, and the town can purchase IT service through the uh, hardware vendor that they've been using um, on state contracts, so if they don't want to have to go through an RFQ, um, they have that option as well. Um, do we have a copy of that contract? Or is it like an uh, it would be, education contract? It'd be uh, ITC 47. 
TC forty seven. That's the uh, state contract. Uh, and the vendors SHI International. That only helps like if certain departments are saying I need a printer, but the thing there would be making sure the printer is compatible with the network. Sometimes they're not, well, I guess I understand, or certain software licenses you might have. I think the thing to keep in mind is we don't want employees to turn around and start purchasing their own stuff. This again. doesn't give them the right to purchase, it gives them the right to find the information and present. This is what it's going to cost to put under this contract, and this is what I need. So they're trying to do some of the legwork before somebody approves the purchase but not actually, well, I wouldn't recommend anybody moving forward with a purchase either, but if they'll do the legwork to say this is what I need and this seems to work, it might save somebody some time just reviewing that versus having to look it all up. I guess to kind of consult and say, where, where's the board want to go moving mm -hmm. forward? Um, are you leaning towards looking at doing, an R, like following what Rutland did and doing an RFQ for FY18? Um, so it buys you time to jobs to uh, position search, um, modify the current regional agreement, uh, to look at changing it for FY19. Are you looking to try to fill the position in FY18? What? I would think we'd want to modify our agreement as soon as possible. Not wait until the first agreement to try to get a modification down for this year. I'd like to streamline the agreement to Shared resources to keep the redundancy uh, systems on the operating as, as that's a new application. Beyond that, um, I would like to see us purchase uh, IT outside of that, outside of the to be a new one of them. And I'm looking forward to our new administrator being involved in these discussions. We're hoping that's going to work out that we can help with the new recommendations. We get some, that's my problem. Can I discuss with them something that's here? Because we have any I believe for a combination of reasons, not, not necessarily limited to the fact that July and August is the time that we try to breathe. Um, we're going to need at least three months of some type of consultant type service just to keep us afloat until we figure out where we're going. Um, we probably wouldn't be able to even coordinate meetings with Rutland to <clears throat> any depth, I'm guessing, what, almost August or September, because they're probably also trying to breathe through a little of July and August. So mm -hmm. I'm just thinking we've got to, we've got to at least buy that window, My and then I would like to sit with Rutland and actually have a better group plan, not two independent paths hoping we end up in the same place. I would I recommend we contact Rutland if we need to give them 90 days, give them 90 days notice and we want to renegotiate our agreement. Uh, if, if, this, if they want to renegotiate any time between, that's great, but if we have to give them 90 days notice to renegotiate and reform the agreement, we should give them that notice and, and talk about why. Um, you know, we want to try to cut back on the, on the all the We're looking to spend more than they are, which makes it hard for them to really push them on the company. You know, I trust they all have the back. I said, we want to have a small agreement to keep these channels open. We'll mm -hmm. see what they think about it and the timeline to establish that agreement. So, we need 90 days notice as soon as we tell them we want to do it. So, would, would you want to contact Rutland's tomorrow and say, when can we set up a meeting to discuss IT? It doesn't necessarily mean we have to tell them the 90 days now, but have a meeting and Talk about where you're both heading, and then we could send. We had already them in. asked for that. We wanted them to get back. Teresa was supposed to meet with the selectmen, and the Rutland town was supposed to come up with something to get back to us. We had asked about. I had asked Bill to contact them to set up a meeting with their select board now. I thought we were just waiting for Teresa to present it to their board, and then for them to get back to us. Teresa. Isn't that her name? Oh, Margaret. Margaret. Margaret Narkowitz. Teresa is the other one from Hart. Hart. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm trying to I'll get there. I don't recall there. that, but. But that was my request. That was the. Um, so, 
either way, I'd just like to carry forward with that. Yes. Well, I, I believe that uh, Margaret gave you a memo outlining why the Rutland, not Rutland was soliciting quotes for the time being until the idea of a regional agreement could be looked at. Um, and I thought that was in response to the request to have a joint meeting. I thought the joint meeting was not on. Well, either way, we still need to set up a meeting with the select board. I don't grow. Okay. So we can find a way to do All that. All right, so we can reach out to. The miscommunication. Okay. I apologize if I didn't clearly after that response. Yep. So Bill or myself, we can reach out to Rutland and see what day works for them in the next within the next month. Mm -hmm. It'll be an off day because they probably meet on Mondays like we do. Yeah. We'll yeah. get um, some dates of availability. We'll send it out. We'll just try to Unless coordinate it from there. Any one of their meetings. You could do that as well. I'll reach out to them and I'll keep you guys in queue what they come mm -hmm. back with. Yeah, I'm sure that they. Huh. That's pretty if funny. Us, if they see us <laughs> I know they were getting close today, today from uh three five vendors. Um, which is what we well I don't know. No, we, we haven't created we haven't gotten that far yet. anything. Well, we don't even have a list of equipment that that's we're asking what them to I know but what your attention is. What I'm saying right now, we're trying to continue that along for our side. Sort of the same thing. He's not the Philly IT director's part. Well, you know, after Adam leaves, I'm not sure where they should be willing to stay on beyond July or not, but uh, I understand Adam told us that we have an administrator starting July 17th. If Potentially. We did, if, if we did a request for the quotes, uh, we could get something in the works and have Andrew take a look at that uh, while Adam is still here. I mean, it's, it's conceivable that Adam's company may be submitting a quote as well. Um, but I would suggest you get that in the works, this uh, request for both, so just the bullets can take a look at that when it starts. Uh, and then, uh, would you be able to it? compile a list of one equipment, two any software, software licenses, and uh, whatever means and methods we're dealing with this website, building and creation, yes. and access so that we can have that. Yep. Um, when Andrew gets here, he can start using that to build a, a big spec or a some type of RFQ. Well, I would suggest we get that going right away. I mean, I asked uh, Adam to put something together somewhere to see uh, what Rutland had, uh, what the number of workstations, what have you, to tailor it to the town of Barry, and then really have to get a solicitation. I thought that was something. Pardon me? I thought that was Yeah, I didn't. I didn't put together. I wasn't sure which direction we. Uh... Well, we need to patch either way. Yeah, that's that was the whole discussion. We're not going to be able to go a month without having. Obviously, you know, how often we call for issues here. We're not going to go a month without some sort of support. So we need to patch for a month anyway. We need to uh, have some time. I thought it, at least a month or two to get agreement out. I don't think it'll take that long and to I do that. I don't think it will go for it. Yeah. But I'm. I mean, if you guys, I think if you guys are on board with looking for RFQ, RFP, it, we can get that put together in a quickly, I mean, it could be done in a quick manner. We could, we could right, almost other, have the other IT. The point of that thing is we want to wait until the um, administrator in office. Right. To be part of that decision mm -hmm. because that's going to be the key contact. Well, I think he could be part of the um, decision on it on who to choose, but we could get it prepared and out so that people can start mm -hmm. submitting their bids at least. I, I, I really don't want to do that. Oh. But if we're talking... I'm just being honest. That's why we asked for an extra month so we get a little bit of overlap. You know, we're talking six weeks, not three weeks or two weeks. If right. We're gonna, if we're going to wait till six weeks out so he can look at things. Well, it'll um, take about... This, it's way beyond our month. We'd be once again... So it'll it'll take about two weeks for uh, us to request us out to get responses. We don't have an advertisement. Probably under $50,000. Mm -hmm. um, are you sure we don't have to advertise? I've it's heard different stories about that. It's under fifty. You know, it's under fifty thousand. We don't have to advertise. Um, well, I just recommend we get an RFP. 
request for quotes out there and have them available to them as the goal is done so we can take a look at it. I mean, if you're asking Adam for <coughs> one month from now, we're looking at the end of July because we're at the end of June. We have one week left in June. Oh, that's right. I'm so I know. My whole month I know. That's why I was kind of wow. confused. So if I'm he's doing one month, I mean, there may not be as much overlap as you're thinking. No, that's, you're right. It's fine. It's fine. Deep. Totally. Yeah. I'm I, smashing a month in my hand here. I've lost a month too, just so you know. But I'm just as busy around here. The other thing that may um, may work, and since it'd be a month and under ten thousand dollars, you don't actually have to go out to uh, bid for this. But if we switch the model from being me as the consultant, and then we just do the same thing under um, my business for one month, do a one month agreement, then it addresses thirteen point three hours. I would have no issue with. Um, so typically, the way I do contracts. With my businesses, we do. It's more like a subscription model, where if someone pays X amount per either person or device, um, and then it's a 12-month agreement, and they get billed monthly for it, and then they get unlimited IT service per se. Um, it really is unlimited, and uh, able to provide that because of load balancing across other people. Other people aren't using it at certain hours. Um, I would be okay looking at that model where it would be we just to keep it simple and then it addresses at 13.3 hours and we can come in and I'd be able to come in and wrap up and have more bodies available to wrap up the projects. Um, if we did that, I'd want to make sure I'd come up with a project list and say these are the projects and then obviously any operations issues that arise obviously get addressed. Um, but I would come up with a, pro a project list for July, say that these projects will get completed throughout July. Um, same price as what Barry's been paying for IT, but it gives me the ability to now have more bodies um, to actually go in and accomplish these things. That's just another option. Um, and that would address the 13.3 hours issue for you guys. Because I didn't have people at Same thing because the company is still me, so the, I'm 100% ownership. Doing DBA as yourself. Yeah, so it's it's 100%. It's still 100% me, um, and ethics approved it as long as you guys are okay with it. And I tell you guys that there's it's me. Um, That's just another problem. That's what I was trying to ask before. If it's possible to finish projects and see other employees in the company. I have no issue doing that because I, I want Barry to be left off in a good spot. I want the new town administrator to be able to start. And so the department has been frustrated because they don't have anything done. They want done yet. And they try to explain that. Well, oh, yeah, and they say. You have 13 hours. It's gone for eight doing, you know, <coughs> system reboots and then password remembering for people that it's hard to get projects. They're just frustrated because they think that, I think they have the perception that we have to out the weekend. Oh, no, yeah. When I started explaining that. You don't understand you're here at 13 and you're mm -hmm. 13 for all the callbacks and everything else. It just, and it's, as you know, I've done this on your side. Um, very frustrating um, to go and fit some pieces of the project. I can't stand starting wires and pump something down and, and have to leave off. It's, it's frustrating. Which panel is talking to which part of which other panel and what they are actually doing? The redundancies and certifications. The other thing with video arms really is it's a lot to get your, your head out to it. You have to walk away from it again. It's, uh, it's frustrating. I can't imagine sitting down trying to do two hours and something like that. The next week it's, it's hugely inefficient. That, that's what I was hoping. Possibly, you said, the same. Let's agree to let's agree to the same. Really? Good. Really. That would seem like a number. I'm sorry. What's the advantage of the company versus the Have more people. <laughs> more efficient. More hours. 
not even, and not, even, not even so much the hour piece, like where I was saying, like, for me to punch down a cable, it takes eight minutes. For someone that actually punches down a cable, it takes them four minutes. Um, and it, it's more, because a lot of the stuff is like this. Like, you'll get one call, it's five, ten minutes here, and then maybe nothing, and you can start working on a project, and then you get another call, five, ten minutes. So, where I have a help desk, people that are sitting there, literally the, their job is to answer calls of five, ten minute things, like, oh, I forgot my password to get into Google, or oh, I forgot this. Um, and he doesn't leave here. I watched them. <laughs> I took a picture of them. Yeah, they have, they have one of them. They have a picture of me. You see those spaghetti wires, the phone company with 20, 30 strands in them? Each one goes in a board of pins, just like this. It's up there, an eight inch wide by a 16 inch. And you have to bring down the straps in the right rows, then to the right one of eight seeds and pins across, tuck it in, and it's a little quick, it's a push, and it's click. And the metal pin cuts into the jack of the wire, makes a connection. But you have to really love each one of those that pair that moment and then do a white like stripe, orange, and they probably also the metal. And they have to go in the, the right row and the right order across the yeah. other. It, it is, and you have to be very precise. And you can't get it back to that, and you can't go solve and strike. You have to solve and 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 The last question I had on this was the exclusion from non-disclosure and non-use obligations of Section 5.3. Um, if I'm correct, there really was no relationship between consultant and client for this proposed agreement, other than you were an employee at will. So as Adam Souser, you weren't necessarily, as the consultant, you had no previous relationship and nothing was given from the client in that role. So starting on that date, moving forward, you would have received nothing from us, technically, in that role. So there's nothing you should have been able to use or share, correct? Based on these non-disclosure comments, unless it was found in the public domain, I understand that. That's, I guess, comes out of. Yeah, you're saying so. I'm not going to be able to. What you do for us is ours alone. Correct. And that's all. If you don't go sharing it elsewhere. You can say, look what I did for them. Understood, like reference, but mm -hmm. we can't shoot, share any of the information. Oh, yeah, like here's all the passwords so it's out there. Passwords, or <laughs> even in a way you can't, unless again it's. In the public domain. No, oh, yeah, I don't. Well, here's another thing. Unless you make a specific request for public records request, even the list of softwares we use isn't something you can share with somebody else. Because yeah. somebody else would have to make that same effort before they could then go tell everybody this is what the town's using. And that's more what I mean. You can't expedite just due to your familiarity with the site, quote unquote, selling our services. I mean, just keeping in my perspective, whether what I'm saying is legally up, something that can be upheld is a different story, and I understand that if you disagree legally, you might be right. I'm just saying, generally looking at that, that's how I would do that, yeah. especially if we're looking at a one month, maybe a whole new contract would be signed if we went into what you referred to on your, your company. Mm -hmm. um, And I do appreciate the effort to get this out because we do only have really a week to close some type of agreement with you to get something going to get us the next four weeks. Um, so I'm not trying to beat that up. It's just when I look at it, I just had some thoughts that I thought we need to at least review from the town side. Um, so I guess I would ask, do you guys um, want to use this agreement as written 
or did you have any changes you want to make to it? I only ask that because you guys do not have any set meetings again after this. Well, one. And we, so, if you'd like to make changes and maybe accept it with pending the changes, and then come back and sign it once I'm able, or Phil or Adam's able to make the corrections or changes that you guys wanted. Well, the only change that we want to make is change absolutely. Mm -hmm. well, that's changing this whole agreement because the compensation changes based on the number of workstations or whatever you were saying to go with that. I, I said I'm verbally agreeing. You said the same. And we'll, I'll put it in writing that we'll just keep the same compensation just to make it easy. Oh. And so for so one month you'll work with us just yes. to use those resources you yes. have. Okay. So I guess just the changes on this would be the name? Which name and with? hours would change to honestly right unlimited um, well I'm, I'm comfortable with you saying 13.3 hours with projects in, in okay yep. consulting yes 13.3 for projects I agree that I want the 13.3 for projects because most people can handle that for op operations yeah. for keeping operations make a huge difference. okay and once again if, if he chooses to use some I, I, I like that, what you're saying better. So yeah, 13.3 for projects, and then um, remote unlimited for operation issues. Um, let me get the exact wording. Okay. Do we need the exact wording now, or can we? No, we can work on it, I think. Okay. I'm taking kind you of notes down of what you guys you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. But so that's what it would be. It would be unlimited for operation issues. So someone's printer stops working, their computer crashes, um, they forget their password, password. they need um, Let's not forget when somebody forgets their password. It's like 13.3 project and unlimited support. They have driven an hour Correct. to plug someone's EDR. Um, I guess the only other thing we'd be incorporating which made with references to liability okay. of the company stuff. Yep, so then if we're, if we're going that way, then you guys are going to want, I'll tell you in one second. I'm only bringing that up because I have a checklist. <laughs> this is a, a contract that's being written that right now we haven't requested any of our own counsel to review the, the timeline. So a lot of the questions we're asking are based on our own experiences without any real direct legal in respect to IT services. I mean, I can run it by Jim Baer too once we make the changes and ask him if he can make a really quick yeah. determination of yeah, unless, if it's okay or not. Unless he's got a huge reply. Well, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Right. We can run it by that's him and if I'm he saying. says looks that's good, then... Yeah, we're not looking for... It for all the eyes and see the exact, we're just, okay, let's do yep. Because I think it does. I also don't know what his board is. I think it allows for us to do a couple other reviews that we probably have a chance to So, you guys are looking for uh, proof of workers' comps, tax compliance certificate, certificate of non collusion, and then liability. Exactly. <laughs> um, I'm not confused about it. Okay. No, we do the bids every year. That's all uh, the portals. I know what it's like. What? Like, we're not going to no. write down. That's what he's going to provide. We don't need to record it. I, you know, no. He's going to provide items. I would expect that. I think it's a lot better situation for the town and myself. So now I'm not strapped for trying to do more than 13 point three hours. I know how long you're going to be So that'll be for one month, and then I'll work still, obviously, with the best interests of the town in mind, with the town administrator, try to guide them and let them look at all options. They can review the current agreement. They can um, look and see what a vendor model would look like. I'm sure we can find other municipalities that are doing 
vendor model, the municipalities that are doing the um, in-house model, and uh, mm -hmm. you can talk with them. Barry has a good reputation with Mass IT. Mass IT sure would have no issue um, working with a two, new town administrator to uh, consult as far as what they've seen work and what hasn't worked. Um, so I think there'll be a lot of resources available for the town administrator, but I know he's, he's probably going to have a lot when he starts anyway. Okay, so we'll, we'll look to see a list from you mm -hmm. of your agenda projects in July. Yes. And um, I will make a motion that we authorize Phil to sign on our behalf of any changes we discuss. And by Attorney Beard, if he can do so within a week, within days, within this week. Also, to add to that, I'd like to see a motion is that we see the changes. With the turn of the year, if you can, um, I'd also like to add if Phil could sign on your behalf for the um, disclosure of uh, mm -hmm. financial interest form. Do you want to change so the motion, Matt? I mean, I'll make a second to that motion with no, the original. No, you can't do that. Nick, make a motion. Then. Actually, you can revise a motion when you second it. What I'm revising is not having the town administrator sign to the board. But we will sign it individually at our own time over the week. a face-to-face -face discussion of the plan moving forward. The interim plan and then the long-term plan is, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think if I'm sitting in their chair and the interim plan saves them a third of what they were spending, I don't know why they would even contemplate going back to the same long-term plan. So we need to understand what's really in their mindset. So we're not running on assumptions and I rather hear it straight from them rather than mm -hmm. through three people along the way. And it's okay if that's what they're going to do for their town. I don't mean that. It's just yeah. that's what I'm really looking for in the meeting. Now, if we, we have 90 days that someone's going to pull out of the agreement, do we have any time after the launch flight? I mean, would we agree to modify the screen and believe that that There's that's no penalty in the 90 days, so it really depends on if the town's just like or don't like each other. <laughs> so what I'm saying is if, if we decide upon, you know, modifying the agreement, we can do that in the meeting, and then seek to show that idea of the spot on the modification. I believe I, yes, I believe we could actually all sit there coming up with a plan that we could all agree on. Yeah, and then we could have a meeting and talk about it. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And would you be willing to would you be willing to go into Rutland or would you prefer to come here or whatever works? I'm not sure what might they typically be. I know that the tent probably isn't good unless DPW Commission says they're not going to have their meeting. But our next scheduled meeting we discussed would be the 17th. If their meeting is on the 17th as well, then I'm fine with meeting them. Mm -hmm. And then if we have to reschedule our meeting or just come back here and continue our meeting on small items after the fact, we can do something similar. I believe the Rutland Regional Dispatch was planning on coming here to sign up to the party. If they all want to come over, we can have a big party. I can talk to Rutland and see what's uh, We can buy extra bottles of water if they'd like to, they'd like to do it. No, I definitely would buy extra bottles of water. No, it's <laughs> water. Yes, not water. <laughs> Exactly. I got you. So, so is that what we want to add on that one? I think we're good for now. We'll make modifications to that. I'll come up with an RFQ template. Mm -hmm. and the RFQ will not be sent out until the new time administrator reviews it. Um, and a list of projects for July. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. So we'll touch base tomorrow? Yes. About amending this contract? Yep. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you much, Thank you. Thanks for taking the time. No problem. I need to set up third time. That was the easy one. Well, I'm sure. Yep, so last week, uh, Jean came to me and asked uh, how we go about getting going on this um, assistant town accountant. Um, so I sent her a job description for the assistant town, the assistant treasurer, um, and she made her changes to it, and I took that and made her, um, created the town assistant town accountant one, okay. and you have that in your folders. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what she's proposing the job description be. Are there any changes in here for the email you sent us? It's, the same it's probably the same document, except for the title says town account. It should say accountant. Mm -hmm. That was changed, but nothing else since then. Okay, what are the pleasures of the And the motion that we advertise this position? Um, first, could you? Sorry to interrupt you. Could you accept yeah. that job I'll description first? So, make a motion to accept this job description for the assistant town accountant. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 On this okay. job description. Okay. Specifically, the supervision received, uh, where it states work requires minimal supervision with questionable situations referred to supervisor, yet the grade classification is our lowest clerical assistant level. I uh, don't know how much you would uh, want to create a description that is stated as minimal supervision in that regard. You might not want to make any reference to the supervision if you want to do that other than it works. Supervision Let's receives second, second paragraph. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't appear to me to uh, I 
I understand what maybe you're asking for, but I we only have one job classification that gets paid lower than that in the town. Well, two. But I read that Matt as um, you know, given further down the duties are expected that this person uh, minimal supervision, supervision would just mean that they have the county skills to perform these duties. And if it comes to a, a sticky issue, is it this is kind of that kind of ongoing process? That, that's an asking question. But most of these should be um, simple kind of principles and accounting principles that they can apply to these sections. So we're looking for someone that they can apply their accounting principles to these designated areas without need for it to be in the process. I, I saw that as a fair request. Um, the statement that you know, the situation should be referred to them is don't make any decisions. These are basic accounting principles, and these things are the same for a little bit. If there's something that seems unsure, don't make any decisions. Not bad, uh, I like that it's spelled out, but it sort of draws a line for what we can go ahead and do. Mm -hmm. yeah. The job site you have workers that come do is a total, and you must want to charge them. And as you said, what is the line drawn? We're just, this isn't um, an open job for somebody that's not going to work out. So we're looking for somebody to work out. So we're expecting them to be able to work out. This isn't about that's down in the job description. The job description states that. But up here, no. here's my, well, just so you know, as I flow down you can, responsibilities. You can pull supervision out and put it down the bottom if you want to spread the stress and see what the this is kind of a general template that all mm -hmm. the positions follow, just so that you know. Some of them have a bit more, not 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 really specifics. But I, I, I understand what Matt's saying. Is that the the accountability is on the town accountant. If, if, if this, this person makes a mistake, it's always going to be the town accountant's accountability, not this person's. And if you're writing things like requires minimal supervision, then that responsibility or accountability can then start to be pushed down lower on the door pole. And we're not paying that person to take that responsibility. I think this how is how you there. work in practice is how you work in practice. How you write your job description is different. If she gains the trust and allows that person to carry forward with minimal supervision, that's her choice. But if that person fails to do it correctly, it's the accountant's fault, mm -hmm. not this person. If you write it like this, the accountant now can defer to the other person and say it's the other person's fault, because I specifically said I shouldn't have to be watching over their shoulder doing their job. Minimal supervision. Not necessarily minimal direction. Minimal supervision means I don't even have to watch you do your job. I don't agree with that. So that's why I brought that up. No. This is about maintaining the accountability at the department heads level. Well, this person this is, is not. A, this is going to be up to Jean. To, this will be her employee. She's going to have to be in So she's not going to watch them put every single number in. I'm sure she can run the balance sheet. Well, she, she sure yeah, this, that. she would do the warrant once everything's entered. So if something doesn't balance, it's her going back to that person saying, we're off this much. Now you need to go back and find it again. Does she's, that make sense? I know the scenario because prior to Gene, we had Dan Haynes, and Dan had an assistant that he paid out of his salary that we paid him. That person was not an employee of the town. And that person merely came in, took all the bills, and just entered them, and then Dan would take it and finalize it. And that's what I think Gene's looking for, too, someone to do the input. So if this were a construction job, a new employee, the lowest employee, the mm -hmm. sweeping by the time I can leave someone and jump set up on and say, okay, I want you to go, you know, go all there, and it's here, without me supervising them, unless they have to say, you know, I'll make the hours the door and just walk, um, I'd expect them to be able to perform that supervision, but that would not be the entry level employee. No, they'd be a foreman or your, how, your how layout guy. The right. entry level employee in that industry would be no qualifications if it has to drop out. Literally, not the case here. They're looking for and you still have to know how to use well, tools. Right, and we're looking for something like that, which, which is, which is, which is again down below, not right. in supervision. It doesn't matter. It's two different topics. 
totally two different topics. Well, I guess your education like, and your skill set. Let, let me let me ask the question. Level, it's not level, anyway. Let me let me pose the question. You know, Jean's not here. She went over this. This was her recommendation. But I'll mm -hmm. pose the question. Do you, Matt, think that this person can requires full supervision? So meaning this person could likely come into this office when Jean's not here at this moment and do what they're supposed to do. But Jean's supervising them on the other end once it's completed. She may not be sitting here saying, okay, now you need to do the polices. Now you need to do board of selectmen. Now you need to do this. This person is going to know what they're supposed to be doing. That's, I think, what the works require. Work requires minimal supervision with questionable situations. So if they run into something where it's not a routine or it becomes, you know, decision making, it would go back to G. The other way I do that is. I'm just asking, I'm not sure. I can, I can just refer to the example of construction. I can have new employees and I say, hey, I'd like you to go. You know, you're five, thinking backwards, no, though. No, Jean's got to explain that whole procedure but if I before somebody, she walks away from it. She cannot just assume someone will know it. No, and that's why that's supervision right, no, is required. But supervision means. If I tell someone I want them to go you know, move the pile of wood from here to there, I don't want them to move the wood, then say, well, the boss is in here. I'm just going to sit here and wait for them to come back and tell them something else to do. I want them to come find me and ask for something or figure out something to do with them. But how can you have to supervise that? And what would you do when you said move the pile? You would say, I want you to move the pile from here to there and then come see me. Right. But then moving the pile is done on the supervisor. That's what we're talking about. When she's moving that pile, when she's processing that department's information, Gene doesn't need to sit there and watch you do it. That's what we're talking about. One no, thing no. to keep in mind with this position, this is a very routine position. The same thing will be done every other week for the entire year. You're totally missing my what I'm trying to present based on a job description and the word minimum. Okay? You are taking away the accountability of the department head for this particular role when you say you have someone that is doing things without their supervision. Well, they're being supervised, but at a minimal level. It does. It should never, at this role, assistant town accountant, I do not believe that job description should be identified as someone that needs minimal supervision. I think it can be gained through trust and experience, and the department head will have at all times the ability to treat it that way, but the job description should never be written that way in my mind. Gene's request for the description. I'm just telling you my position. This, is, this isn't this is necessarily her. just her. She has a strong influence on this. I'm not right. But this is her department, and if this is how she'd like it to, to read, it's, it's ultimately, when she signs it, it is, she is the accountant. It, it is hers when she signs it. And she would be, you know, unwise to just let it go through with that double check. And I'm very confident that she's going to make sure that things are done right now, what she's been doing for us right along. Mm -hmm. This just gives her some, some assistance in, in the processing of, of the bulk of these numbers, in which should be easily accomplished by somebody without you literally watching them. And I think that's with, with I think it's semantics of this term. I, I take minimal assistant meaning that, that she's not gonna have to literally sit there and watch her into these numbers. That's if she does, then she can do it herself and it's pointless to have this employee. She that's wants the opposite to be, of maximum supervision. You're one extreme, I'm talking about not including the other extreme. Minimal means that I can give her the file of paper say could, could you please process and keep you up in the time sheets for me and then go over and do whatever she's doing. Then she says, hey, those timesheets are done. Thanks. Could just start fires timesheets now. And she can go back to what she's doing and, and not watch it. That's minimal supervision. Give her a task and let her perform it. So but I just looked at four different time. clerical yeah, positions, and um, they almost all say works Work requires minimal supervision with questionable supervision. It doesn't say no supervision. And this, the one particularly that I just pulled up is a assistant town collector. Where are these from? What? Where did these descriptions come from? Ours or just? These are ours. No, no, these are ours. ours. Okay. That's why I said I just looked at four of ours to see what they said. If it said with, without supervision, I didn't say. This is possible. It doesn't say without. I had my discussion. I won't push it any. But you understand anything between them and some? Is, is 
this supervision is not So what was the final language here? There was no change at all. Okay. So I put out a motion to accept this description and then we have a discussion. Yeah. I second the motion. Okay, second. No further discussion. Bill, did you have anything more? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, hearing that no further discussion, I'll call for a vote. Um, Any opposed? With DCR, they use the uh, town hall for their uh, regional meetings. Mm -hmm. So he's just looking to use, oh, he's getting way ahead, December 14th, 2017. The town hall. Does it have to do with any holiday schedules? No, not at this point. No. And I think this is like a Thursday night or Wednesday night that they use it. Make the motion to accept the TCR's request to use town hall December 14, 2017. One thing before we go into executive session. Um, so, as you guys all know, we it gets warm in this room. Um, and the air conditioner isn't very um, accepted with the cameras and the noise and all this. So I did ask RJ McDonald to give us a quote. Um, we do look like we have some potential savings in this building's uh, budget for this fiscal year that we're in right now uh, due to the low oil prices last year and cost sa the savings that we had with our energy updates. So I did ask RJ McDonald to give us a quote to put in a mini slit um, air conditioning system in here. So it's virtually noiseless. Um, and they did come back with a quote which did not include electricity. Um, one thing we have to do is Adam is getting prices to replace the camera system in here because the license is going with the police to the new building. So we will then have no system here. Um, so he was looking at just replacing the cameras here. He was going to get a price on that. So once the quotes come in, we can look at what um, this is. We can encumber the money into the next fiscal year because I do have an active quote to hold mm -hmm. that money to carry over. Okay, we have a contract with RJ McDonald for our heating. So I just I only called them because we they do offer. They're the ones that we contract for those services, but we can seek I, I other it's ones. To get just in case, uh, it's not even mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I only contacted them, like I said, because they do our heating and. Um, all that stuff. So I didn't know how that tied in because it would be heating so, AC. But it's 4,200 without providing the electrical disconnect and circuit. So no electricity. That's just the the unit and installing the unit. And I did. I ran into Greg Goldsmith, um, who does some of our electrical projects, and asked him, and he gave me a ballpark, just out in the parking lot ballpark, and he's going to write us write me a quote. Um, it's one one number to connect this and one number to connect to the panel, he said. It's going to be 243 phase. I don't know. That's for him to figure out. But, but again, I don't know what even if we can afford to do this right now. What I'd like is if you, if you could ask for a couple more quotes, but site equipment similar to that, so I'm going to yeah, I think if we just use 2400 BTU is what they said. 
it should be fine. Um, actually, we, if I'm correct, that's an operation on the maintenance budget line item, so the omnibus type budget line item is taken off, not a capital. Correct. And because of that, I believe all invoices need to be in by June 30th. Nope. That's that's why I said you, all you, contracts you have to need have a to be quote. signed. Nope. You just have to have a quote for this for the stuff. Mm -hmm. To care to ask Jean to encumber the money to carry it over. Okay. Mm -hmm. we just transfer the deal over the next fiscal year fund, previous fiscal year funds. Is the, that how we do it? The fiscal the FY seventeen funds carry over to the FY eighteen line, and then you can only use it for what you've asked. So I could not ask her to carry this money over for this reason, and then all of a I sudden by. 15 file cabinets. But you she can't needs that. that information before the end of this week. She sent out an email no, as she, I didn't look at the dates. She sent out an email for end of year stuff, okay. which would tell you when you had to have the encumber. The only reason I'm bringing it up is he was asking for three quotes. We still haven't got the electrical quote, so then it'd be getting two more heating and three electrical. Well, this right here would allow order. this to carry over. Right, right. Without knowing the total value to support the rest of the work, the electrical side. We don't have to use all the money. We can only, if I, if we had ten thousand dollars and I asked her to carry the ten thousand over because we're waiting for more quotes, this one quote would allow her to do that. But we were only allowed to use so that, that money for this purpose. So she's not carrying over the money equal to the quote. She's just carrying over whatever you request, and you're saying here's a quote no. to say we're going to need. She will carry over how much I ask her for for the That's purpose, what but I just asked. not equal to the quote. That's, That's my what under I meant. my understanding is that yes. So we need to clarify that, otherwise so we have a timeline. That's the only have, reason well, I'm I have one it. more week. And if we have two more quotes and they're higher than that, we would want to use them to more quotes. So the number should be that or lower for the equipment. If we can get something writing a hard number from the electrician, um, firm on the electrician, we can include that total as an answer for the quote mm -hmm. to all those funds. So that amount, plus the electrician, if someone comes out of that, No, the money just goes back to the money isn't used for anything else. Correct. Um, it certainly won't be any more than that. I mean, the actual finance that actually approves the not just any kind of decision. Yeah, I mean, Say that again? Yeah, it's not just the money that you approve. Yeah, it's the money that you use to carry the money from one fiscal year to the next. And I don't know if it just falls on the accountant's approval. Okay. It may be require a board to say, okay, we're going to approve this for this amount. Okay. 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 I just want to make sure we take the right steps. No, we do these every year at the end of the year. These encumbers, these occur in all year long. Like say right now we purchase something, but we don't get the delivery for whatever reason. That We have to carry that money over. We, that's the mechanism to pay that. Or else you have to have a special town, you have to have an article at town meeting to pay for that because it will be invoiced after the July 1st date. This is a very, this, um, yeah, yeah, this operation is very um, standard. I got you. I just have some questions, but it's something that I'll work through it myself. I'll, I'll run. Some of it is just me learning. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just, we'll get there. Makes sense. Okay. Not everything going to spend by the 30th. Um, so I yeah, like you know, we know right now what expenses are coming, if any. Well, I do. In, in our department, I know what expenses to look for that we may not get before the June 28th deadline or June 30th, whatever it is. So I'll just look to get three quotes and get the electrician's quotes. And um, if you want me to get something from Jean outlining the encumbers, what the rules are on encumbering money, I will get that. That would be nice. So I at least understand how she believes it she will. So if she can explain that. What whether it's just a quote or it's an actual approved encumbrance or right. an invoice. We we may have to approve like that date. Just so I better understand mm -hmm. how we do it. Okay. okay. I'll get that. Sure. Okay. And um, Phil, did you have anything? Well, I actually submitted my resignation. And 
<laughs> yes, I did. I appreciate. I understand where you're coming from. I don't know if you guys have a chance to read it. It's emailed to you. Yeah, I have an answer. I didn't send it. Don't look at me. Well, Phil pretty much stated that two big things rolling here. One is what his original expectation of the time commitment he could provide at the time when he thought it would end. And we pretty much hit that end point. Um, secondly, he's got a total amount of hours he can commit to the town based on his pension requirements. And that's part of the reason he was able to do from. Um, but when you put all of that together, he's asking to, in his, in his interim administrator position by July 17th. Uh, I put the July 13th. Mm -hmm. 13th? Uh, I believe. I just took like to go this was going to be early July 31st, and he had since offered to begin July 17th. Yes. Yeah. Just about yeah. 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 I don't, I, Phil and I, um, Phil came to me and we discussed this and I told him that I did not think that we had anything major. Him and I discussed what things were coming. Um, that would be, yeah, yeah, I don't think we have anything major that's pressing, um, that should, that are, is like in line with any of that timeline. So even if it was to the 31st, I don't see you guys are looking to try to scale back on the meetings and the only things we have outstanding would be um, the yeah but those are t those things we could um, move out until um, the new TA started yeah and I asked for an update on that today for Brianna she didn't hear back she was gonna let me know tonight for their meeting tonight so there's really nothing yeah no, it's just that was a rule that Phil was helping with, was just kind of chasing those blue ends because he had the phone calls. Yeah, that's all I meant. Yeah, as as up, who was playing the house of wheel? I think Phil was doing a lot of that for some of these regional discussions, and that's where a lot of it will be passed on to Faye. To try to, not that she can't; it's just it's stepping in, and it's been a lot asked of the entire office. Everything. There's a breather, but we also, as a board, might be able to help out with some of that. Whether it's passing on and saying, could somebody follow up with somebody and just keep that going until Andrew comes in in two weeks and then we pass it right back to him? I mean, I'm sure we can do that. That's all I have. So yeah. if it's okay. between Faye and Phil, they're like, you know, see if Charlie can call Hardwick and figure out this, or see if somebody can call this and figure out that, because you were going to see each other in Leicester. And I was working with Nancy Allen and the other towns on the building. So that's all I meant. We have a little familiarity with the history, so we can kind of step back in, and the players aren't like, so why are you here now? Right. That's all I meant. Yeah. I'd like to make a motion to accept Phil Harvard's resignations and to adopt an administrator with an extension of our gratitude. Uh, I know it's a lot, especially during this process. I know I asked a lot of people to contribute as much of that. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. appreciate it. Yeah, it's been Second. been a good six months. It's, it's been challenging, but it's been it's been it's, it's, it's been really good to work with Phil thank and. I make a motion to table the motion for three weeks. <laughs> Would you not? <laughs> 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 motion to table is not debatable.
We so have no facilities maintenance person. So how are you with the um, <laughs> yeah, Nick <laughs> yeah, Nick was not able to do it. Phil worked on this a little bit. Yeah, I know. Um, did. I'm not sure where we. I had Greg Goldsmith, the electrician, head back down there to figure out what the lighting issue was. He's going to be getting me um, a quote. Okay. That's an article, so that can carry over. Yeah, I can go on. Um, I know. To well, it had a physical cap. What? It had a physical cap. I didn't know if we reached that, that article. We don't spend so much on, so I didn't know if we'd already reached that. Article. No, no, mm -mm. Okay. no. We have funds available in that, but yeah, yeah. It'll carry you with a separate article. So I had Greg go down and look at what what the electricity was because the person that's using the bandstand thought last year that it just was flip a switch and it worked well. Greg said, "There's no way." He said because the wire was like cut yeah. in the pole, he doesn't know how the lights work. So um, he's going to give us a price on fixing all the lights because the lights also are interior mm -hmm. um, recessed. Yeah. So he says to try to save money, maybe not necessarily replacing the cans right now, but the lights themselves to be outdoor lights because right now they're indoor lights too. That's what he's looking at. So he was going to get us a price on that uh, written up. So we'll work on that. But that is not an issue right now. It won't be until later in the season when it gets a little darker earlier. Or it gets sealed, like we had planned for the spring. We had the contract last fall, and what's the name? is some temporary crack sealing to get it through the winter, but we can come back and do the uh, floor coating. I think he talked to well, uh, Nick. The contractor has been having some health problems, and he wasn't able to. Uh, contract apologized. Uh, he did make temporary strapping on the right side railing, but it's still pretty shaky. Yeah, very shaky. Um, the uh, the gazebo needs a fair amount of work, and I talked to Brianna, the uh, building inspector commissioner. Uh, apparently, if you spend more than twenty or thirty percent of the value of the building, it's supposed to make your handicap accessible. And I'd like to look into that to see if the town could perhaps get a waiver, given the uh, location of the gazebo, um, and perhaps some of the parameters, um, just to see where we stand regarding you know, the access, uh, mm -hmm. or you know, whatever the requirements are. Yeah, and I know we needed a new bulkhead. Well, if the concrete needs to be sealed, the, uh, the roof needs some painting. Um, yeah. Well, actually, the columns need to be scraped and painted. And, you know, there's, there's some work to be done there. I'd probably say it's more than 10000 I was concerned mostly about the railing. The railing itself is unsafe. You know, yeah, ceiling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I Anybody look into what they thought the actual value of that building is? So we know for reaching well, that percentage. It's, it's also over a three year history. It values, values that you're at least a successful person for $8,000. Uh, I imagine it's worth more than that. But that's, that's what they value for that current value. And unfortunately, when they talk about these ADA assessments, if you go by your assessment, you're not going to be the same thing. The same can't be the community's in this fifth building. Uh, 
We do not use it. Nope, there's a um, Christmas and Barry committee. They uh, use it. We may want to let them know they're about to lose 1500 bucks if they don't spend it. I'm just letting them know because I know they're going to be wanting the money next year. Well, I, I know. So, I'll let Sandy know. She's that's all. Treasurer. Yeah, but I know when the, it's the, the line item through today's time report time said time zero time expended. Time so I don't know how that happened. Duncan's gift cards. They spent money. When people volunteer, they give them things. Maybe they could have a, a they could have a private fund. I don't know. They could. Uh, well, they get a lot of donations to get through that winter, the, the Christmas and all that. But, but I'm they, guessing something may have got. I don't know. It's just we, it's. We should check because I know for a fact they have used some new courts on the wine and the wreaths. The reason I brought that up is similar to something like that. Yes, we have just talked about a lot of things that are a centerpiece of that event. And maybe there's something that they can assist with. But we have to keep it away from the building right now because of the question we just brought up about how much is invested versus how much we're going to do for further compliance. So, I'm going to ask, uh, you know, Dave, talking to see if they can help us with some actual mm -hmm. physical work. Yeah, with the yeah. sheriff's department. Mm -hmm. and the, the painting, the painting is something they've been on. Yeah. They could do a lot of things. Okay, I was just concerned about the railings. I just saw something happening. And then got caught in the capital. Mm-hmm. That would keep our cost down. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Are we ready for the executive session of the contract? Yeah, we are. We Thank will op um, possibly go into open session following. Yes, we may go into open session following for a vote on a uh, potential check. contract. Yeah, just check out with me in the morning. Okay, thanks, Ellie. Oh, okay. Bye. Have a good have night. A good I guess we'll be in for a part. Enjoy your retirement. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. No more than a half an hour. I think. Right? No. Should might be fifteen minutes. Okay. Make a motion to go in executive session to review the town administrator's contract and come back out of executive session for a possible vote on accepting that contract. All right. Thank you. We don't have any announcement to make at this point. Yeah, you do. What? That we haven't come to the. That we've agreed on the contract. Right? We have agreed, but it is not executed. It, no, it will be. No. This is the motion I would make. Okay. I would make a motion that we agree to execute the contract pending the format and date and spell check items we identified have been made so that we do not necessarily have to return to this meeting to approve the contract. The terms are in place. We accept the terms. It's formatting and pretty much spell check correction. You're making a motion to accept the contract as we amend it. Yes, but nobody out there knows how we amended it in the executive session. So I'm trying to just give a little clarity as to why. They don't need to know. How we amended it. They if need you, to know how we amended it. They need to know the final contract. The only thing I need you to add in there is that um, we'll be signing it this week once the um, clerical clerical clericals were, are completed. 
Went on that. I flagged, but okay. We're trying to just, just avoid another formal meeting to just yeah. I so we can sign. I second the motion to take the contract and clarification of those issues. And discussion. Hearing none. All for vote. Aye. 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 Now we're all. Can I make a motion to exit? As God said, you'd be ready. Yeah. A motion to adjourn. Second. I move.